Okay. All right. I'm standing here with uh, Ed and Kathy. Say hi, Ed and Kathy. Hello. Hi. All right, how Ed. Are you? Hey, Bill. Let's tell them a quick story how how we come to meet, right quick. Okay. All right. How's that? Well, the way it happened was uh, my wife was sick with COVID and she was in the hospital on a ventilator for 53 days, and I needed an outlet because they would only let you in the hospital for uh, for a small amount of time. And so I needed some way to keep my mind off of it and uh, decided to build a cargo trailer because when she got well, we were going camping. <laughs> and here we are. She got well. Um, awesome. And, and that is fabulous that yes, you did. I yes. know it was uh, touch and go there for quite a yes, while. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. So first thing I did was I went to YouTube like everybody else does and I said, I'm going to find something with cargo. And who <laughs> pops up? Bill pops up. And I uh, started looking at his stuff and I was like, man, that is so awesome. So I watched all of his videos. Got, it, got my inspiration and then started on this. And that's, yeah. that's kind of how yep. we got there. Well, fabulous, fabulous. Exciting. Now, before we go any further, let's do talk about this. You do have your own YouTube channel now. So let's go ahead and we plug did. it right quick while we're at it. All right. And the name of your channel <laughs> is? <laughs> the name of our, <laughs> come on, Bill, help me out. <laughs> the name of our channel is Make Each Day Count 365. You do have to put the 365 in because there are two different channels. So. Right. We came up with that because we decided when she did get out of the hospital, we make every day count now, 365 mm -hmm. days a year. We don't miss yeah. a one. Yeah. You guys are out Just traveling all it. the time and yes. seeing new stuff constantly. Yeah. So folks, be sure and uh, go look up their channel and check out the Thank travels you. that they yes. do. It's uh, quite yes, entertaining. Yes, we enjoy it now. Well, yeah. we're, so, we're so happy to hear that you do. Fabulous. All right, let's talk about, before you get up and start walking around with me, tell us a little bit about your trailer, Ed. Let's start off with the, the length and width and height and all that stuff. Okay, the length of it is 24 feet. It is seven feet high. I had it uh, had it custom built, kind of like Bill did. Uh, so I ordered it <laughs> and uh, wanted the extra headroom because I'm 6'1". So it's uh, eight and a half feet wide, seven feet high, 24 feet long. Okay, fabulous. Now, uh, while we're on the subject, well, kind of sort on the subject. I can't help but notice this graphic here. You've got, you know, a matching graphic on graphic on the other side. Then you've got some really cool graphics around that. Where'd you get those? Well, I know a guy because me and my son own the graphics business. Uh, it's a BEI. That's uh, Brasher Electronics Incorporated. If you get to looking it up, but it's BEI it's in Odenville, Alabama, and. Uh, that's kind of what we do, and uh, if, you, if you watch the uh, rendezvous stuff later on after it's over, you'll see a bunch of shirts we did too. So we yeah. also do t-shirts, and <laughs> it's kind of where these t-shirts come from. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and our we, son did this right here. Yeah. He just made this up. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah, I love beautiful. It. Very yes. striking. Very Got striking. Got the eagle on it. So, uh, and you, of course, that's another uh, avenue in which we met because it is. I started talking to you about graphics for our trailer and you made the graphics on our trailer. We sure yes. did. So, yes. so yeah, so now we had to get that shameless plug in there. Right? <laughs> that's right. right. So that's we got right. that done. So we've got an eight and a half by 24. You got seven foot ceiling height on the inside. Correct. And while you're sitting here, I can go ahead and show this. But folks, if you look right up there, you'll see that uh, he's got a bunch of solar panels. So tell us how many, how, what, how much solar you have on top. There is six panels, and it's a combination. Of, well, not a combination. It's a total of 2,225 watts. So that's two and a quarter kilowatt. Wow, wow! And when we get inside, we'll talk more about your battery bank and stuff yeah. like that. Once we get inside, while I'm standing out here, and while you're still sitting there, you can go ahead and just sit there with your beautiful wife for a second. All right. I see we got a security camera right yeah. up here. Yeah. And I'm assuming you got uh, another all four one sides. on all four corners. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And what what uh, what company did you get those from? They are Box, I think, is what they're called. Um, I can tell you. Yeah, you don't need to. What we can do, you yeah. can look that up later, and we can post a link. Yeah. In the yeah. description. It, yeah, U Box. Okay. All right. U -box. Um, yeah, they're U Box and. Uh, we also use Starlink, so anytime we're away from the trailer, uh, I set the alarm on them. Lets me know if anybody's around it. Right. And we also have a camera on the inside for the dogs, so for away. And it's uh, also has we have a separate heat uh, and cold alarm, yeah. temperature alarm. Well, you have all the bells and whistles. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm kind yeah. of a techno nut like you, Bill. <laughs> he is. He's a techno nut. Well, I think you're a little. I'm a techno nut too, but I don't have near the near the stuff that you have here. That's cool. I have cool. a little extra time with my hands. Oh, I got you. And I you meant to. You got my bicycle too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My three wheel. That's right. You converted these uh, into e-bikes, yes. both of them, and. Now, I know you didn't build that. No, no Honda built that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But anyway, uh, one thing that I forgot to ask you while we were talking about the dimensions on the trailer, do you happen to know how much it weighs? Uh, that's a loaded question, uh -oh. but uh, without the motorcycle and bicycles in it, it weighs about 7,500 pounds. If you add the bicycles and the motorcycle, you're uh, at about 8,600 pounds. Okay. But you have no trouble towing it because you're towing it with a. Yeah, I have with no a, trouble towing it. A, it's a Ford, Bill. It's, it's a Ford. Well, I know. We, we have. A, okay, whatever you say. I'm a Chevy guy, so that's what we have this little uh, friendly uh, feud going on here. But uh, anyway. All right. Well, let's you and me, right quick, let's go ahead and finish the walk around on the outside of the trailer because we have so much more to show. Okay. And if you can come along too, if you I'll want. I'll just follow along. Okay. Go ahead. Fabulous. All right. Fantastic. Oh, let's talk about the hatch while we're here. Oh yeah. Okay. So so I put a hatch in the side of it. And let you I'll go around that side let you look in. But in here this is uh inside I put everything's on touch switches. There are no rocker switches or flip switches, everything's touch on the inside. So this is a controller for that. Up here is a uh, transfer switch, so I go from solar power or shore power and it's seamless. And then this is your typical trailer, uh, 12 volt, 110. And then this is for the main fuses for my two solar arrays up top. I have it separated in two, uh, three arrays. And then you got two charge controllers and breakers in here. See, it's all Victron. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I like Victron. We have all Victron on ours. I just yeah, love just, it. just kind of set it and forget it, like yeah. the old Ronco stuff. <laughs> That's for sure. And uh, tell us about your mini split here. 9,000 BTU. Again, I learned that off of your channel. That was such a great idea that when I ordered the trailer, I ordered it with the extended tongue. And that also gave me room to put the uh, propane tanks on it. And this propane tank runs strictly my barbecue grill with a quick hookup on it when I'm camping. And this one over here on the inside, you'll see uh, we use an on-demand water heater. That's all it runs. This is always a conversation piece for anybody that has a mini split. And it is a piece of thin, it's called max metal, but it's got like a, a rosin core center and aluminum on both sides. It's very lightweight, but it's very, very dense. Mm -hmm. So my family's been in heating and air business my whole life. So I decided that uh, I didn't want to try putting the box over it. I didn't want to put the cover over it because you always see that they just tear up. It's been here about 5,000 miles now and it keeps the bugs and the direct air off of it. I leave it running 24 seven. So going down the road, it's even running. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got plenty of CFM for the heat exchange. So there, there's no problem. This, this works great if anybody wants to try that. I like the looks of it. In fact, uh, I'm, I may uh, take a few close up photos of that and uh, toy with that myself. I know a guy that might just make you one. Oh, really? Yeah, you, he might. Well, I took this apart also and painted it because I hated the color. It was. Yeah. I just wanted it to blend in a little bit. Yeah. And, and this this is a generator rack. You can get it from Amazon. Uh, I'll give you the link to it. But it is a generator rack and it's good for 300 pounds. Okay. Yeah. And as far as that painting, the outside unit goes. Uh, Deb has been on me to do that for quite some time <laughs> yeah. because we've done other walkthrough videos where they've done the same right. thing. Yeah, and it's so. just not that hard, really. Huh? Well, Those things come yeah. apart so easy. Yeah, I hear you. I hear it's you. Just well, time. I'm tickled to death that you got the extended tongue. I really yes. am. Yeah. I really, really am. And yeah. sure. And had I not difference. been watching your videos, I wouldn't have done that because yeah. I had no idea that was even an option. Yeah. 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 I hear you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry. He got a lot from you. Oh well, and we appreciate he that so much it. too. Yeah. And and of course, you know, yeah. with uh, Basically. doing our own video and uh, graphics and that kind of stuff, you know, we had to we had to name our own trailer. Oh. So we, you know, it's a playing hall toy hauler from Odenville, Alabama. 
<laughs> I see. There you it's go. It's a one and only, though. There you go. And the graphics, all that. Trading. And real quickly, uh, real quickly, uh, let's mention here how you ran your uh, refrigeration tubes and everything. Right? Yeah, I just put them in uh, one of the tubes, like uh, like you, they come with you. Just open them up, and put all your stuff in it. This is for cable. If I ever want cable TV, we use Starlink. But but the uh, lines go down in the bottom, and they come immediately back up in from the floor, and then up through the wall to the uh, unit inside okay. that you'll see. Gotcha. Uh, I just didn't want any holes in the front. Right, and I don't blame you there at all. And of course, this this what we have here. Yeah. This is where your uh, solar panel uh, cables That's right. come all, down. All my cables come through this, and this come off of Amazon. I think you can buy this whole trailer off of Amazon, really. Really? So, yeah. I pretty much. I think that's where I bought just about everything. But that uh, that's a piece of uh, I forget what they call that stuff. It's real lightweight metal. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, people that'll certainly give some folks some ideas and it stands to reason why you haven't it, have it coming down the way you do because all of your controls and everything are in the nose of the trailer yes uh, just behind that hatch yep. back there yeah yep. fabulous all again right. it all comes through the floor instead of through the front yeah, exactly yeah. okay now here's our the standard 30 amp power inlet yep right there and I see you've got a 15 amp power outlet right yep, here it's, uh, there. and they are on GFIs Okay, good idea. That was very good. Um, and then, of course, you uh, you had to. Now, your site that you're on here does not have sewer, so you had to go ahead and dump your uh, holding tanks today. That's right. Tell us a little bit about how you've got that going on, and where'd you get that idea, by the way? Well, it's a running theme, isn't it, Bill? I mean, I seem like everything I've done, I literally got off your channel. So, uh, I got the macerator pump idea from Bill, and then in the back of my truck, there is a 50 gallon. Uh, tank so I have 40 gallon of uh, gray water under the trailer So between that and the 50 in there, I've got 90 if you want to do it that way I got 20 of uh, black or I got 70 if you don't do it that way or do the math however you want to do it But so I got 20 of black 40 of gray and 50 of storage So and then I got 30 gallons of fresh inside and it's actually inside for weather purposes Exactly and then underneath I had it professionally sprayed with a uh, closed foam um, Closed cell foam. Yeah and it's, uh, it's got eight inches under it, so it is very well insulated. So when it's time to dump the tanks, you simply just hook up your macerator pump. And since the macerator pump runs off of 12 volts, you were telling me you you go ahead and plug in a converter that converts from 150 or 110 volts down to 12 volts, and that runs your macerator pump. That's just a simple explanation. Yeah, it and just made it easy since yeah. I already had the plug. Sure, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, fabulous. And uh, it's working well for you, yeah. I assume. Works beautiful. Yeah. yeah just offloaded this morning. Such yeah. a nice job. Yeah. <laughs> Got the aromatics going, and yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't take no time, so it's it, not like you have to deal with it for a long period of time. Literally uh, pumped off almost 50 gallons this morning, and it took me uh, like 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it doesn't I know. take long. That's what we like about the way ours works too. Right. And then of course you got your typical RV style uh, uh, water inlet, city water inlet, and your uh, gravity fill for your for your onboard fresh water tank. Yes. And yeah, see you've got an outdoor shower yep. set up right here. Tell us what this thing is right over here. Well, that's Starlink connection, and it's uh, you can get this uh, again. You can get it off of Amazon. But it's a uh, waterproof connection. Uh, you just push this and it pops out of the side of the trailer and you put the waterproof connection in it. You got the Starlink sitting out there. Uh, a lot of people have problems with these cords. These cords are kind of expensive and they're proprietary. So I decided that we would just cut it, get one of these. It's uh, RJ45 connectors, I think it's what they're called. And it just literally plugs together. So you cut the wire, match the colors up. It just plugs together from one side to the other. Fabulous. Makes it super easy. Fabulous. Yeah. And you, you have 5,200 pound axles I do. on this. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's always a good idea, especially when you figure you're going to be hauling motorcycles and stuff like that. Yeah, I went that. right over, right off, in my head, right off. I knew I would, you know, 7,000 yeah. wasn't going to be enough. Yeah, so. yeah, you bet. All righty. And, of course, here's the other uh, security camera here and everything. So you're just well covered. And I got plenty of lighting all the way around it too. Oh for, yeah, uh, nighttime. Well, like yeah. Night, last night, they're pretty bright. Out. Yeah, those little lights surprise you. They are bright. Yeah, because yeah, we were sitting here right. uh, visiting last night. A bunch of us were gathered around here, and that 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 really lit everything up. It was fabulous. Absolutely yeah, fabulous. Yeah, another Amazon thing, isn't it? And uh, of course, you got the typical ramp on the back, and you got to have that because of your uh, hauling a motorcycle and everything. And I assume. 
you've also got it set up so you can have a patio back. I do. Yeah, we enjoy it just like we set it like today when it's real nice. We'll have the screen in it. Uh, it'll be down as a patio. We can sit here and watch the barges go up and down the river and have lunch and play with the dogs. Yeah. Wave at Bill when he goes by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All righty. Ed, I see you've got, I see your uh, uh, backup camera yeah. back there yeah. uh, back on top, right next to this security camera. Yeah, it's wireless, so I can see it in the truck. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. All right, we're going to go inside now and check out the inside. All right. All righty. All right, here we are inside the trailer, and we're starting at the back. And uh, what is just on the other side of those curtains there, and why do you have them there, Ed? Bob Barker says it's prize number three. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a ramp. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's got uh, rubber in the middle of it here, so I don't have a problem with the motorcycle going up and down, not slipping or anything. And then, of course, you get your outdoor carpet, so when we're sitting on it as a patio, it looks a little nicer than a painted door. And this is just a, the ramp that flips over at the bottom. You don't know. And, uh, and we then just put this up and make it look a little more homey. In yes, it. it does. Yes, it does. And where'd you get this idea for these storage bins up there like that? I'm Man, just kind of curious. This guy named Bill with I Write Tiny House. <laughs> that dude is genius. You know oh, that? Oh, no, he's yeah. not. No, he's so not. So that's kind of where I got this idea from. Yeah. And then right behind you, there's, uh, there's some more. Well, there's some, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And these are, oh, I like that. Yeah, that look at these ideas. Uh -huh. Wanted wood on hers. I, I understand. I'm just a simple guy. So. Uh, and then you got your TV here. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's all connected to Starlink and everything. Oh, yeah. And you got your Murphy bed here, and yep. it is a real queen. Is that correct? It is a queen size bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And of course, uh, you have it uh, as a Murphy bed, so when you fold it up, you can get the motorcycle in here. Correct. Yeah. All righty. Now. This here, and you just recently did a video about this. This I is did. something that you just completed. Yep. Tell us about what's going on here. Okay, so my wife's a genius too, kind of like Bill. And uh, she, she used to be a cabinet that was about this high, and it would come out to right here. And she said, you know, if you take all them batteries you've got stacked in there and put them down and kind of turn them out a little bit and get them closer to the ground, we could actually have a place to sit in here. And I thought, well, that's just genius. So. I said, well, I'll just do that. So what I did was I come in here and tore it all out. You have to go watch the video though. It's, uh, it shows all of it, but I put latches on it. Man, it got a little tight. Wow. So oh, those are all batteries here. That is wow. four 300 amp, 24 volt batteries. All Holy lithium. cow. Wow. So that's a uh, that's what powers this thing when we're somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Now it seems like to me in one of the videos I watched of yours, uh, when you've got it parked uh, at the shop uh, where where you where you live, yeah, that you leave the the mini split going all the time and it, and you're not plugged in. I it never. does it all solely off of uh, your your system. That's right. When when I'm uh, unless I'm in a campground where I'm hooked up somewhere, I literally just unhook from it and leave it running and uh we leave it 75 degrees in here during the summer and we leave it 60 in the winter and it just does its thing so. fantastic fantastic yep. and then of course we got closets over here yep and this is a storage area here and you've got some uh, also got the uh, valves for the water to change it from pump to uh street right and then here we got more closets right here yep. This is a pantry, and then uh -huh. this is where the solar uh, for the, it's got the inverter, the 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverters in here. Okay, all righty. And I like this little area here where you've got a little bench here where a guy can sit down and take his shoes off or put shoes on. That's exactly you know. what I do, and then inside uh -huh. of it is just, it's a laundry hamper, so mm -hmm. that's where we put the dirty clothes and stuff. Well, you guys just thought of everything. Everything. I had a little help. A little, yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> and I, I know who, what that, where that no, help came from right there. Yeah. I just had a couple ideas, not you, much. Just a couple, huh? Just a well, couple, not they, much. That's a great one. They, he did an awesome job. They sure, uh, the, those ideas sure made it really, really yeah, nice, that's for sure. All righty. We love it. Well, I'm glad you do. Uh, well, I don't yeah. blame you. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I could live in it every day. There you go. There you go. Now, Bill, for short people, because 
<laughs> kind of like you, I'm 6'1", and she's 4'10", right? So she couldn't get up on here, so I had to uh, I had to build her a little slide that comes in and out so she can get up there. Now see there, Kathy, he yeah. was he was thinking about you. I know it, yeah. I know it. Yeah. He knew I had Isn't to have a sweet? step. Isn't that yes, sweet? it is. Yeah. That's why Fabulous. we have our stool right over there, so I can reach everything. Oh, from, oh yeah. Stool. See the corner stool? Oh, yeah. That's our stool. Yeah. I use it for, it so I can reach everything. <laughs> well, what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about your bathroom here. Okay. I and mean, I'll tell you already, I'm jealous because your shower is bigger than my shower. Oh, no. Yeah. And I just... Uh, I that was one of my favorite things, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, I'll let uh, Ed, let you want to step in here, it, yeah. and I'll, yeah, I'll sure. shoot from outs here, and right. we'll see if we can... Uh, if you can do it. Oh, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Right. But anyway, that's a six-foot tub and shower combo. Yes. Right? Right. Wow. Yep. Wow. And then again, Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then this is, uh, I forget what they call this, it's the one that... Uh, Oxygenics. Oxygenics, yeah. Mm -hmm. And man, that thing is awesome. We went from a regular uh, shower head to this, I get twice the, the time out of a tank now. Really? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's fabulous. Yeah, it's, it's great. Absolutely fabulous. Now, you have a regular black tank, so you have a standard uh, uh, RV style toilet. I do, yeah, and we actually put a porcelain one in here. We didn't put one of the cheap ones in here. Yeah. We actually put a, a real toilet in here. Man, you guys have built just a regular house. And then, uh, of course, we put a medicine cabinet in it, and I got a place for a hair dryer to sit. Yeah. And we got a night light for, for nighttime. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. And the woodwork in here, and it's not just in here, of course, it's all throughout the trailer. I apologize for not mentioning that earlier, but it's just immaculate. It's beautiful, and it really sets everything off. It's just gorgeous. And what we didn't talk about either is tell us about your flooring. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's just a linoleum. Uh, it's just roll-out linoleum. Oh, so really? I put it down before I ever started. I came in and uh, sealed the floor and then put this on top of it and then started building. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Made it a lot simpler, didn't it? Yeah, for sure. And I let it sit a while to where it would relax. And now your on-demand heater. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell it. Tell us how you arrange that. Okay, so all my water lines come in through the wall from here, and then of course I got a spot here uh, where I can take it off if I need to to access behind the shower. But I built this uh, box here because they're supposed to vent out through a wall or a ceiling. But I put a max air fan in right here, so this is a double wall metal, and. Uh, I just dabbed it out myself and then there's double metal here and uh, it just pushes out, sucks it out up here so the fumes and the heat goes out. It doesn't even get warm right here when you do it because it's got so much, so much draft coming yeah. through there. It just works great. And that's the only propane powered appliance you have inside the trailer. It. Other yeah. than that, you're a total electric. Idiot. Yeah. Okay. And the reason we went with this is because we are uh, electric and I didn't want I didn't want this pulling on the batteries if we were boondocking somewhere to take a shower or heat water. I just wanted to be able to heat water and not have to worry about pulling on it. Fully understandable. Yeah. Fully understandable. All right, it's kind of tight quarters here, so what I'm going to do... Can you move for you? Yeah, I'm going to step in here like this. All right. And then you step by me here. All right. Or let's get... Uh, no, let's change on that. All right. Let's get... Come on in here. Yeah, we're going in there. Come on in here. Kathy. I'm good. Are you making it? I made All it. All right. So, uh, Kathy, uh, why don't you step on into the kitchen <laughs> here, and can okay. we? Uh, we just want to get you included in some of this. Well, okay. You know. Well, yeah, I know you see our map. This is our. This is our new map that we're starting now, on the places we've been just in this, this camper. Yeah, just this year. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, yeah. so yeah. yeah, we're starting over again. Well, We've been everywhere on motorcycles, and now it's time to go in the trailer. There you go. And we're loving it. There you go. And you got a lot of catching up to do because yes, you spent I do. quite a bit of time in the hospital. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so, I've yeah. lost like two years, so oh, we're wow. we're gonna try to build up some. I hear you. And uh, I hear you. you know, our kids and our grandkids make it make it worth doing. You, you know, they you. love it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, but I do all my spices. I have all them here. Uh huh. And our fruits and vegetables. We just we just you tiny live everything. I, my storage is right there for my canned goods and my washcloths and all that. So we just we just did all that as a. And I noticed you storage. have a nice uh, size double sink here too. And I love that. Uh -huh. Love it. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh, 
you know it's a great size and and everything's just i just love this whole whole thing i'm telling fabulous. you fabulous it's fabulous. wonderful Nice overhead cabinets. Of course, you got a stool so you can get a fair region. <laughs> this yeah. is why this is here. Do you oh. see this? <laughs> this is why these are here. So yeah. I can reach our glasses sure. and our and my other stuff because I can't reach them. But yeah. that's what it is. Now, I was asking Ed about the wall covering that you have here. Yes. yes. And uh, can, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it looks like bricks and, and everything. But if you feel of it, it's foam. And it's another form of insulation. And we put it here and around our fireplace. And uh, it's really, it really helped with the heat. You know, because you can't feel it in here. It's, it's really pretty. And yes, it looks, thank you. It looks real. I mean, it really looks nice. really sets everything off. Yes, I, I love it. And, uh, you know, I've got my wood little, little workspace over here to do stuff with. We use our oven all the time. I know I've got my dishes in it, but that's where I have to keep them right now. Okay. And then... That's that's my niece and nephew. We we go see them. They're in Louisiana, so yeah. we have them. We actually had one of our harvest hosts paint this. His name was Ocean, and uh -huh. uh, we got that. So, Fabulous. and our our kids are on the walls. This is you know this is a grandmother. Uh -huh. That's my son, my youngest <laughs> son. Right up here. Yes, sir. Okay. And right here's our oldest son and his wife. You got me spinning around here. Yeah, look here. at that. <laughs> <You're dizzy, baby. laughs> Uh, but this right here is one of my favorite things because I can just snap it and keep the bugs out. Sure. And my dogs uh, don't go out when it's up. You know, they love to just hang out with us. Fantastic. We, now let's talk about your uh, your microwave here. My microwave. And it looks kind of familiar, too. I bet it does. Yeah. I bet it does. But it works wonderfully. And I can actually reach it. And it's it's fantastic because uh, it it works great. Everything you know, you in here. Put everything cooking wise down low, right? Yeah. I did notice yeah. that. Yeah. That was yeah. perfect. I did yeah. the cooking, and uh, well, now he's had to do the cooking for the past two years, and I'm just now starting back in it. Uh huh. Yeah. You so, made fudge the other night. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. And then last <laughs> night you made banana pudding. Yes, That's I did. That's the best banana pudding I ever had. <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. I, I've, I've got to really start watching it now. The rest of this <laughs> rendezvous, uh, the rest of this uh, uh, week and a half, because. I usually end up gaining some weight. Oh, well, you know, it's wonderful you know. though the the time you spend with everyone. <laughs> they're like family. I mean, you just enjoy everything. Yeah. Uh, the sitting around the fires and the and you have the, the folks that are here already. Yes, you met them for the first time. This is the first time I've ever met them, and I feel like I know every one there of them you go. by family. That's what we always and, say. It yeah. brings tears to my eyes. It does, because yeah. I I mean I feel like I've known them for years. That's absolutely. And oh, I just yeah. met them. I yeah. heard you last night, Bill. I said, you know that. Uh, we, we have a tight inner circle for me and my wife just because yes. of our careers that we retired from and uh, we don't let many people in so uh, when we yeah. met you guys it was uh, it was really it was really it's nice to well, have, have well, friends that we trust. Well, we appreciate that yeah. and it's uh, really quite humbling on, on mine and Deb's part, you know, for you to say something like that. Well, you we, guys are special people. Well, yes, well. Yes, I don't think you realize how many people you have touched. Well. Because just like Ed with this camper, he needed you at that time and, mm -hmm. and God put you in his path and That's I'm telling you, he did all this when I was so sick and couldn't do anything. And you really inspired him so much. Well, well so we're much. Glad, we're glad we were able to, yes. even though we didn't know what was going on, we're taking the right. back, but we were able hey, to, you did. Able to hey, be you there did. for you. And then, of course, I recognize I, this refrigerator. Yes, my freezer. <laughs> it, I got a freezer. It's full right now, but because we're here for a few weeks, so yeah. our refrigerator and everything, and I love it. Everything I can reach. It's just fantastic. Fabulous. We got our Berkey over here, yeah. our little coffee pot here, and we have our Keurig outside for everybody to use. And I've already sampled so, some of the you, Keurig Okay, coffee. good. Yeah, sure enough. So we have it outside too. And this is my hideaway. I don't know if Ed told you that. I didn't tell oh. what that was. This is my cat litter box. Oh, you're kidding. It's a hideaway. <laughs> so there's a cat litter box underneath it? It's in it. Oh. Right here on the side. See? Oh, I see. You okay. go right in it, and yeah. that way you don't have to have it out. I hear you don't you. have to show everybody, and they think it's a live plant. Well, how about that? And it does look live. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor. Why don't you go here and hey. step back here next to uh, okay. Ed? Because we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. All right. Come right here. And uh, come right here. We'll let the dog come right. in there. Did you notice our bed cover? Did he show you that? 
Well, we kind of looked at it, but he didn't point anything special. Oh, look, I got this that. is our kids. Yeah. Oh, it sure is. Isn't and it? that's Ed and myself, and that's our son with his sons. Yeah. And all of our grandkids, our dogs, everything's on. Bill, our, you will never guess where I had that made. Airplane. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is all of our kids and uh -huh. all of our pets. And give us this the names. Is, I meant to get right. that out of the way at first. But. This is Miss Gracie. Uh huh. And this is Barkley right here. He's going to try to be bashful now. And they are the sweetest things. Thank you. And they I have a cat are. named Callie, and she is probably right over no, there in the corner. Probably hiding. Hiding. Yeah, but but sure. she's yeah. wonderful. Well, right, come she's on not like Delilah. She don't want to be around the camera. I no, she runs, but she's great. Well, guys, thank you so much thank for taking you. the time to show us your wonderful creation. We here. appreciate you. And, uh, well, thank you, Bill, for yes. all you did. Well, yeah. You, you yeah. make a difference. Yeah. Well, really sure. make a difference. Well, we appreciate that. Yeah. We really do. But anyway, we're going to sign off for now. This is Bill and Ed and Kathy. And you know exactly what we're going to say. Yes. We are not camping. We're living. We're living. <laughs> <laughs> we are living. Thank you. Bye-bye, Thank everybody. you. Bye-bye.